Hey everyone, welcome back to Girly Tips Etc. Today I'm going to be going over the ambient lighting powder, whether or not you should splurge on it or purge it. I've been studying this powder for a couple weeks before I actually invested in it. It's $45 at Sephora, that's a huge price tag to me. So it better do some dances and flips. Now the brush that uh, they suggest goes with costs $35. And it looks kind of unique. I wouldn't say I have anything like it. It's very soft. So this is $80 total. Yeah, expensive. Now they have several different shades, but I decided to try Diffuse Light because I'm very fair. And anytime I put colored powder on my skin, including bronzers, anything, it stands out like a sore thumb. I wanted something that looked almost like a face powder. I didn't want something too glittery either. So I think Diffuse Light is pretty innocent. As far as if you want to try one of the ambient lighting powders, Diffuse Light is a good one to try. I would definitely go in the store and try it for yourself. Try different ones. Don't make a purchase based off of one experience. Try multiple powders and different lights and see how you like it. I'm still probably going to go and try the other ones just to see how they work. But for now, I'm going to stick to just one. Okay, so each powder captures, diffuses, and softens surrounding light with groundbreaking technology. Choose one or more and step into your perfect light. Diffuse Light is a soft, warm, pale yellow powder that conceals redness and gives skin clarity, like a soft ray of morning light. I have it on today. Not sure if you can tell, but in my opinion, on my skin, it kind of gives it a little bit like, hmm, what is that? But you can't really tell what it is. I have it on on my forehead and mainly my T-zone. The first time I used it, I went ballistic with it and I applied it all over my face. And then I noticed when I went outside in the sun, it was like, whoa, I look like kind of shimmer central. And then a couple hours later, it looked a little oily. So oily skin gals, don't go crazy with this all over your face. Plus it's probably best to just put it in the areas that you would normally highlight and not all over the place. So I have oily skin and it doesn't seem to accent any of the acne on my face. Then again, I didn't stick it on my acne prone spots, but it's kind of like nutmeg to mac and cheese. If you put a little bit of nutmeg in it, you eat the mac and cheese and you taste a little something and you're like, hmm, what is that? But it, it's not obvious. That's what this does. I don't wear this every day. I wear it kind of more like if I want to look extra pretty or I just want to look more polished and radiant, then I will use this powder, but definitely I don't use it every day. It does not cause breakouts and I am extremely acne prone, so I'm very pleased to say it does not cause breakouts. However, if you are acne prone, do double check the ingredients to make sure you're not going to react to any of them. Here's the powder up close. Here is a heavy swatch. Okay, and I'm going to stick it across my nose. So you can see how it looks. See, it blends in pretty good. Now I'm going to apply this with the brush. Sweep a little under my eyes. Do you notice a difference? Yes or no? Let me know. The difference is just very subtle. So in the end, was this worth $45? I would say not quite for me. I wouldn't repurchase probably because I didn't notice like wowza wowza. It didn't like wow and knock my socks off, but I'm not sure if the other powders might knock my socks off. And again, I'm kind of afraid to try them. There's six other shades. Some people swear by these powders. Some people can't live without these. So I would most definitely try the other shades. The coverage is not full. So if you're expecting to have something with coverage, this is definitely not going to totally cover up any spots on your face. And it does neutralize redness. I'll give it that. And if you're concerned about sparkles, don't be too concerned about it. I'm a woman in my 30s and the only time I really see any sparkle is when I'm outside with this and it's not even like glitterous on my face. It just looks like micro fine shimmer and it looks mainly like sheen. So don't let that deter you from trying it, but I would definitely try this in different lights for sure. Now I've tried applying this with a different brush and I don't think the results were as good. I'm not sure 
why that is. This brush just seems to apply the product really nicely. If you want to try the brush, I would suggest trying the brush with the powder, but it's completely up to you, but I would definitely suggest it. They kind of go hand in hand together. I'm currently using the Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder underneath my eyes only, and I do find a more noticeable difference with this product than the Ambient diffused light powder. When I put this on my skin looks airbrush underneath the eyes noticeably smoother. When I wear the ambient lighting powder I don't notice a huge difference in my face. Like I said it's very subtle. If you've tried the ambient lighting powder please let me know which one and if you liked it or not below. If you got my 100% honest opinion on the hourglass ambient lighting powder. I think it's a decent product but way too overpriced unless you find one that knocks your socks off. I hope you found this video helpful. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!